Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kyra, and here on this channel, we're all about real makeup for real life and real people. So today's video is all about the makeup that I brought with me and that I bought in Las Vegas. My hubby flew me out to meet him. He works all over the country and sometimes he works in Vegas and this time we used some travel points to fly me out to meet him for about 48 hours. It was a whirlwind adventure. I have never been to Vegas before and I'll be 40 in January. So um, I was super excited. We had a lot of fun and I just wanted to share it with you as well as the things that I brought with me and two things that have been picked out for me while in Vegas. Makeup wise that is. I didn't bring any foundation with me to Vegas. I strictly wore a tinted sunscreen. I'll pop it up here on the screen from Paula's Choice and I love that sunscreen. It's perfect. It's slightly tinted, but I did bring my Kosas Revealer Concealer in the shade 3.5 for the under eyes and anywhere else where I felt like I might need a little bit of extra coverage. I have sunspots or melasma, some kind of hyperpigmentation underneath on like the tops of my cheekbones and under my eyes and this concealer is absolutely beautiful. I did do carry-on luggage, so I did have to put this in my liquids bag along with mascara and things like that. And then I had a separate bag for my brushes, my powder products, things like that. And I honestly just brought this concealer because I know I love it. I know I love the way that it looks under my eyes. And I just wanted something very reliable, hydrating. We got pretty lucky where it came to weather in Vegas. The first day they, we were there, it was in the mid to upper 90s. But then that evening when we went out again, it had dropped significantly because they actually had some unusual weather. They had a little bit of a storm system come through Vegas and so that really cooled it off nicely. So the first night we went where I wanted to go which was the Venetian. I just love sort of that era, that time period. I wanted to see the gondolas I wanted to see the Sephora inside the Venetian. The Venetian was absolutely beautiful. I wish I would have taken more pictures than I did because it just was beautiful. The ceilings and the water canal that goes through with the gondolas and just everything was so stunning. So the powder that I brought with me to Vegas, knowing it was going to be hot or thinking it was going to be super hot, was the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Waterproof Powder. And I love this powder. Works great under the eyes. Love it in the T-zone as well. So that is the one I used and it performed beautifully for me. But the one that Hubby picked out at Sephora, which I've yet to use, is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I picked up the shade One Fair. I really had a hard time deciding which shade to get, but here she is, unscathed and untouched. It's very reflective, but I thought this was a beautiful color. And so I'm gonna set my face with this today because I can't wait any longer. This is definitely a soft powder. This is not a powder that I ever would have purchased for myself, not because I didn't want it, because I have tried it and a little sample size that was like the size of an eyeshadow. <laughs> um, so I have tried this powder and I do think it's a stunning powder, but I just have a hard time with things like this that I tend to finish, you know, multiple pressed powders a year. A little bit of a harder time wanting to spend the cash on this one, but Brian, my husband, he knows me very, very well and 
he knew the brands or knows the brands that are my favorite. And when he came over to the Charlotte Tilbury products, he, you know, he was like, what is over here that you haven't tried? And I was sort of pointing some things out and he picked this out. He said, pick your, pick your shade. Let's get this. I just think that is so sweet. I love that he knows things like he jokes even about Natasha Denono <laughs> because he knows how expensive her products are as well as Charlotte Tilbury's but he knows the brands that I like and I just think that's awesome. So when I travel I always like to bring a face palette especially if it can double as an eye palette as well and so for face palettes I brought my NARS Orgasm on the Beach palette because it has everything I need for the face. This shade, it can be used as blush and it's a little, a bit of a red undertone, but it works great for me as a bronzer or all over face warmth color. Got a couple highlights here and three very beautiful blushes. And I'm gonna start off by bronzing with that shade that I pointed out to you, which is Mandalay. And I've really been enjoying this palette and, you know, just due to shop my stash and working on Project Pan products, I haven't gotten to use it as much as I would have liked, which is part of why I brought it with me to Vegas. So Brian did pick one more thing at the Sephora at the Venetian, but we'll get to that, you know, in a couple minutes. I enjoyed seeing the Sephora at the Venetian. If I'm being honest, it wasn't quite as exciting as I thought it was going to be. I guess I've heard it hyped up so much that I haven't, you know, I just, I don't know. I guess it was kind of a lot like walking into the Sora, Sephora here where we live in Colorado. So I was just a little surprised, but not disappointed by any means. It was beautiful, it was clean. You know, they, I liked the way they had things set up and stuff, but like my Sephora here in my hometown, which is not big, mind you, it's a pretty small city. I'm surprised we have one and we didn't have one when we moved here, but um, the Sephora here like has a lot more, a lot, a lot more products. And so I was just surprised. <laughs> like I said, not disappointed, just surprised. And then I do find I like to build up this shade that I'm using as bronzer quite a bit on the cheeks all the way forward to the apples because two of the blushes in here, including the one I'll use today, are quite sheer and so I do like to layer it over a little bit more of a pigmented base. All right, for highlight, I've been liking to mix these two here. This one is Turtle Bay and this is Naples. They're both very beautiful. I just, for whatever reason, have been enjoying mixing them. And these are my very first NARS highlighters. I've never used a highlighter from NARS before and they're really quite beautiful. I've always wanted to purchase the shade Fort de France and I just haven't, but it could happen. And then I'm gonna go into the shade Orgasm here and just put that mostly on the apples of my cheeks. It's for a little pink glow. So the Venetian was beautiful. We went to the super, super fancy steakhouse and I forget what it's called, but literally was the best ribeye steak I have ever had in my life. Holy smokes, that was a good, steak. It was just, I don't even know, perfect. Just perfect. It was grilled to perfection. My perfect is a medium and it was cooked evenly, even temperature throughout the entire steak. It had this wonderful Cajun seasoning on it and also this herbed pat of butter, which of course they set on top before they bring the steak out to you. It was amazing. That's all from the NARS palette. For brows, I brought my Essence Make Me Brow and my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Went to this fancy dinner. We had our fancy steaks. We had 
some asparagus, we got some mushrooms to eat with our steak, and it was amazing. But it was so funny because the whole time we were sitting in the restaurant, which the restaurant, you know, inside the Venetian, there was no windows. We couldn't see outside at all. But everybody's cell phones kept going off, almost like the same sound as an Amber Alert, but was like an emergency weather re alert. And it was raining. I mean, it was storming even, but it just was so weird because everybody's alerts kept going off in the restaurant. Like there was something really serious going on out there. And of course, by the time we were done with dinner, there was nothing going on and you know if you guys aren't familiar my husband and I and our kids were from Nebraska originally and so uh, we're used to good thunderstorms that's one thing I actually miss here in Colorado although we do get some but it was hilarious it was like they never saw a rainstorm or a thunderstorm before and it was funny because our Lyft driver that took us back to the hotel that night was saying, you know, just how crazy it gets there when it rains because they're not used to it, especially not driving in rain. And we actually saw several examples of that during said Lyft ride on the way back to the hotel because people were like peeling out their tires because they were on wet cement and not at all used to driving on wet cement. <laughs> so, kinda interesting. The next morning, my husband actually did have to work for a couple of hours, because that's what he was there for. And so while he was gone, I just enjoyed our hotel room a little bit more. It was a very nice suite. We had a beautiful balcony, which I took some clips of, and I just, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Just the peace and quiet, uninterrupted time to myself. Uh, it was just lovely. Enjoyed my coffee, watching a little YouTube, skipped my workout, naughty girl that I am. Hubby came back from working and then he got ready for the day and we headed off to a casino that he had been to previously with some guys from work when he was working there previously and um, it's called South Point and it's kind of on the edge of the strip which we planned because we knew we needed to leave at a certain time to get to the airport return our rental little truck all that kind of thing and so we went to South Point is what it's called and it is huge I mean like the hotel part is huge but the casino itself is pretty big as well. Um, you know, it's definitely not like a brand new casino or anything like that, but it was really nice inside. And, you know, Hubby and I each decided we wanted a little bit of money to gamble. I am not a gambler. I'm not a card player. I don't play roulette. I just do slots. And I do really enjoy it. Hubby loves cards. He goes to the black, straight to the blackjack table. And um, he was there for quite some time. So I just kind of walked around. I went to the gift shop looking for something for the kids, etc. And then I went to play slots. Hold that thought. The second thing that Hubby bought me in Vegas at the Venetian Sephora was an eyeshadow palette. Not a palette I intended to purchase myself, but a palette I'm very glad to have nonetheless because he picked it, it is pretty, and it is now a memento of our first little tryst in Las Vegas, if you will, and that is the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. And she is pretty. So I'm really excited to try this today, to put it on my eyeballs. So we went to South Point. I started playing some slot machines. I really love that. I got a Bloody Mary, which I rarely drink alcohol anymore. I just been there, done that, got the t-shirt, really don't care about drinking. So 
but it was nice I do love me a good Bloody Mary and they were pretty good pretty spicy and of course they're free when you're playing so I had a couple of Bloody Marys while I played some slot machines eventually hubby came to find me and we decided to play some slots together and you know we played on several different machines no big wins or anything like that sat down at another slot machine played a couple of rounds of whatever is a penny slot played a couple of rounds of whatever was the lowest minimum bet which i think was 50 cents maybe i felt froggy for a second i do that sometimes and so I asked my husband, I was like, this maximum best bet, that means $4, right? And he's like, yes. So I hit it and boom, <laughs> I won $400 on a penny slot. That was fun. That made my day. Pretty sure it made my hubby's day. We just had a lot of fun playing slot machines together. And my husband does not typically ever play slots. He's just not that guy. So yeah, after that, we just kind of hung out, got something to eat, headed to the airport to return the vehicle and security and all that good stuff, and flew home together first class. That was fun. I don't think I've ever sat in first class before that. It was really funny though when hubby picked this palette out for me at Sephora. We were at the Natasha Denona display and he said looking at the eyeshadow palettes he's like so which ones of these do you already have i shrunk my head a little bit down and i was like all of them but this one which was this one the zendo palette and he's like well let's get this one and how can i argue with a new natasha denona palette i can't i won't i refuse to this palette certainly got some very polarizing reviews. Not everybody liked it, so <laughs> kind of excited to try it myself. That is such a pretty shade. It's called Scents, and it's kind of bronzy, but like with a pinky, peachy shift to it. Anyways, this palette has had some polarizing reviews. You know, people seem to love it or not. <laughs> It doesn't seem to be like a lot of in between. So I always like to try things for myself. So just briefly to talk about other things I did to save space and save liquids <laughs> was not bringing a foundation as well as um, using some sample skincare and or hair care. I had a little shampoo and conditioner foil pack of the Briogeo Kale Apple shampoo and conditioner, which I know I like. So I did bring an eyeshadow with me because obviously I didn't have this, didn't know I was going to get this, etc. And the eyeshadows that I brought with me is first and foremost my beloved Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. This is in the shade Marie Antoinette. I believe this color is now called Oyster Shell. They've renamed them since I purchased this one. And then the other thing I brought that I didn't end up ultimately wearing was the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Ladybird. So pretty. And I'm gonna go back into the NARS palette into this shade, which is again, Turtle Bay for an inner corner highlight because there's not really one bright enough for my skin tone and my preferences in the palette. But it was a lot of fun. Brian and I have been married for 18 years, 19 years in March, and we've never really gotten the chance to travel other, you know, together ever. <laughs> and so it's it was a lot of fun traveling together. I did bring a 
brand new mascara that I had just gotten in the mail um, right before I left and that is the e.l.f. brand new Big Mood Mascara. And so far I really love this. That being said, I am a big natural, fluffy, flirty, lengthened lash kind of girl. So this is right up my alley. I love this big old hourglass wand, but I also really love that the formula is not dry. <laughs> I love, I feel like so many mascaras that have these types of hourglass wands can really be dry right off the bat. And I know some people really love a dry mascara, but I just don't. I don't know that I love it as much as the Lash It Loud mascara from e.l.f. It's too soon to say, but it's not bad so far. Okay, of course I brought my Milani Nude Entrance Lip Liner, so we'll go ahead and start with that. So the lippy I actually ended up wearing most of the time while I was there is the Kosas Wet Lip Oil in the shade Jellyfish. It's just so pretty and comfortable and perfect for wearing under a mask, but because we're not wearing a mask right now, the other two options I brought was the NARS Soft, is it Soft Matte? Yeah, Soft Matte Tinted Lip Balm. I have the shade Touch Me. And then I also brought my Revlon Melting Glass Shine in the shade Nude Illuminator. I think I'm gonna try the NARS one because why not? And I haven't used this a ton, so. It's nice and warm though. So, a little bit of a deeper shade than I would, oof, nope, I don't like that. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's share this out. All right, so we're just gonna go over top with a little bit of the Nude Illuminator shade. Not my fave, but I do like this eye look. It's something different than what I typically go for. So let's take the hair down and check out the final look. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me today, seeing what I brought with me and how I sort of strategically pick my makeup for travel, but also for my carry-on because I'm limited in liquids. Not only did I have to include my liquid makeup in my, um, my little quart baggie but I also had to include skincare and hair care and things like that so this is what I had as well as the little gifts that not little the beautiful gifts that hubby picked out for me at the Sephora in the Venetian so um, let me know down below have you been to Vegas if you have what's your favorite thing to do there I definitely want to go back. There's a ton of things I would love to do that we just simply didn't have time for. But like I said, this won't be the last time that I tag along to Vegas. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're having a wonderful week so far. And I hope all your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days. And I will see you in my next video real soon. Whoops. That was not a great start, Kyra. Come on, get it together.